What's up, what's up? Nothing much over here but these motherfucking bills. This is part two of more damn bills. Every day could be a bad day for me because every day I go to the mailbox, I get scared when I open that box up. I say, more damn bills. I get scared when I see it. And I understand but, I put myself in this situation, messed my credit up. But put it this way, I didn't mess myself up this time. I had a back injury that caused me to lose a lot of stuff, mess my credit up, lose my job, lost a lot of stuff because of my back injury. But, on the other hand, I should have saved, check this out, I did save money. I had 401k investments, and I lost a lot of that because I had to pay my bills, try to pay something on my bills. So, what I'm trying to get across to everybody, never put yourself in bad credit card debt. Because credit card debt would destroy a relationship. It would destroy your family. It would destroy anything you're trying to do, like a buy a house or get another car. But get something that you quit trying to floss and shine when you know you don't have the money. You have people out there perpetrating riding Mercedes Benz, Range Rovers, but living in a damn apartment. BMWs, Infinities. I see that every day. Perpetrators. Ain't nothing wrong with it if you can afford it like that. But I would rather have a house than have a fucking Range Rover. You can't live in a Range Rover. Yes, you can. You can't put a pillow and and some sheets and some covers in there. You can do it if you want to. But by yourself, you can't put your whole family in there. Unless you add a little wagon on the back of the motherfucker. But put it this way, we all know the economy is bad. They trying to say the unemployment is getting better. Bullshit. The unemployment is not, the unemployment rate is not getting better. It's people rolling off every day, exhausting their benefits, and they're not counting them people who exhaust their benefits. We all know the motherfucking truth. Unemployment rate is still over 20%. Don't be fooled, America. Don't be fooled. Republicans and Democrats are playing with our head. They're trying to make it seem like they hate each other, but they still on the same fucking team. And I don't care when anybody say they can send me a bad comment and tell me you, you don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. They all playing that politics. It's all about mucho dinero, moolah. It's all about the money. So... You cannot fool me, and I know you cannot fool a lot of Americans, because Americans are starting to wake up. We need to wake up like the other countries, like Egypt. Wake up and take our country back the right way, not the violent way. But we need to make these people understand that we're not playing with them. They do. They are some lazy people. If you watch them on C-SPAN, you see them picking in their nose or walking around and having conversations with different people more than they doing work. But they want to sit, say, the unemployed people sitting on their ass and being lazy. So you're trying to tell me 15 million unemployed people are lazy. They just want to collect a, a, a small ass unemployment check. Hell no. Who you think you fooling? You ain't fooling me. And I know you're not fooling 15 million people. It's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Watch. Look what's going on in Libya. Why did we have to go start a war with Libya? Is it about the oil again? Is we trying to take their oil? Answer that question for me. What's going on with that? Why is we bombing Libya? The Republicans are pointing fingers at Obama. Yep, he's part of the problem, but he have to get uh, he have to talk to the Democrats and Republicans, and they all knew that he was going to bomb that country. They knew it, so they all knew it. But they were always trying to point the finger. He's part of the problem. We don't need to be having three wars going on right now. We don't. We don't. We need to take care of our American people and quit fucking with these other countries that ain't got nothing to do with us. Take care of us first. Lead these people. Lead these people along and take care of our people. Quit investing billions of dollars in, in the war. 
where you need to be investing billions of dollars to the American people who pay taxes or who work all their life for unemployment benefits and can't even get it now because they're exhausted because these assholes in Congress are blocking bills that should have been passed a long time ago. And this is bull crap. Bull crap. Please comment and share. And please follow me. Let me know what you think about this. Also, this video is going on to my blog, www.thenico000.com. Again, www.thenico000.com. Also, feel free to email me at 6034nico at gmail.com. Please, no spam. I don't like no kind of spam. Not the food spam or any kind of email spam. And by the way, you have a nice day. But also, please rate and comment and tell me what you think about the Libya situation. We need to stay our ass out of these wars. Period. And I'm out of here. And remember, more bills, more bills, more bills, more damn bills means more debt. More debt. And hell is going to break loose. Because you're going to lose everything you got. Pay the fucking bills. Remember that rent is due. First. Pay that first. Do it the right way. You have a nice day. Peace.